I'm Bill Wilder. I'm the founder and director of the Lifecycle Institute, the learning, leadership, and change practice at Lifecycle Engineering. The reliability engineer, it's an increasingly visible and influential role. Risk mitigation is a hot topic. Optimizing value that the assets deliver is a leadership priority. Reliability engineers who have the know-how and the credentials to reduce risk and increase the value delivered to the triple bottom line are in high demand. The Reliability Engineering Certification will equip you with a deep understanding of the role, the tools, the application of reliability engineering. You will be able to apply international asset management standards and best practices that increase the value of the assets delivered for your organization's triple bottom line results. Two, reduce financial, environmental, and safety risks across that life cycle of the asset. And three, optimize fulfillment of stakeholder requirements. The Reliability Engineering Certification is the only reliability engineering program offered by an accredited, respected engineering university. And it is designed to comply with all of the international standards published by the International Standards Organization, the Institute of Asset Management, the Global Forum on Maintenance and Asset Management. So to add the Reliability Engineering Certification credential beside your name, you complete four three-day classes. And then you demonstrate that you've applied what you have learned in those classes. In the Reliability Engineering class, you will learn the role of the RE. Topics include asset management strategy, asset management plans, organizational teamwork for reliability, the tools of the RE, and how to build a business case as part of an asset management plan. In the second course, the risk-based asset management class, you will learn how to use the fundamental tools of reliability. You will practice creating the maintenance operation and risk management components of an asset management plan. In the third course, the root cause analysis class, you will practice RCFA tools. And you will learn how to create an RCFA policy or standard for your organization. And in the final class, the predictive maintenance strategies class, you will learn how to use predictive technology and information to make asset management decisions across the life cycle of the asset. And finally, the capstone of your certification will be putting these tools to work. You will document how you have applied these tools to deliver value in your organization and then make an oral presentation of your results for approval by a board of qualified reliability engineers. So you're ready. Well, start by selecting the university where you want to earn your certification. And then register for the four classes. And after you complete the classes, be prepared to submit the work that you have done and make an oil defense of that work product. And there you have it. You will become an REC, Reliability Engineering Certification. So when you join this emerging high demand reliability engineering profession, by earning your REC, you will be able to deliver more value in your organization, and you will be more valuable in the marketplace. So if you're ready, come to the website, lce.com institute.